it's me, I'm back again, uh, long time no see, been busy with some things, uh, like this, getting her better from surgery and things, um, just life, you know, uh, but today we're all home because uh, we've got a marauding cyclone tearing through here and they've closed down work and all the schools and everything so people can stay home off the roads and stay safe um, so yeah it's pretty wild and windy at the moment uh, we've had i think they're saying they're getting 500 mils worth of rainfall through the area so a little bit of flooding in the backyard but nothing too bad at the moment we're all safe so it's supposed to go through till 3 a.m uh, tomorrow morning and they're already saying that schools are closed for Friday so um, I might be home tomorrow anyway with Hannah um, we'll see how we go uh, at this point we're hoping it clears up because she's supposed to be flying to Perth on Friday for um, Easter so who knows at this point we just want everyone to be safe so much vision of cars swamped by floodwaters um, some right up to their rooftops uh, we've had quite a few people having to be towed out i think the racq said about 30 vehicles have had to be towed out today we've also seen um, a number of swift water rescues at last count about uh, 40 swift water rescues had taken place a lot of people uh, you know going into these flooded waters when they shouldn't be and also a lot of people just caught out in their own homes we had a couple of inc incidents where people were um, trapped in their own home and they had to be taken out on rafts etc uh, there you can see another vehicle uh, trapped in those flood waters and the volume of water is just extraordinary we've had about um, 200 millimeters of rain in some parts of brisbane that was what the uh, bureau was predicting for uh, the whole weather event, but obviously up to 500 millimetres of rain is also expected in some parts, particularly on the Gold Coast, that's going to be hardest hit. That will be later tonight, but the extent of flooding in Brisbane alone and on the Gold Coast and on the Sunshine Coast. Let's get an update on the situation. As I said, all schools throughout the southeast will remain closed tomorrow as well as today. There have been 3,000 calls for help to the SES. They are expecting that number to rise as, of course, this weather system hits here with its ferocity later in the day. 250 roads have been flooded. 8,316 customers are without power across the southeast. Some of the areas hit uh, Gympie, Ipswich, Logan City, the Moreton Bay uh, regional area, Noosa, about 1,000 people without power there. Redland City, we've had the scenic rim, uh, Somerset Regional and on the Sunshine Coast. And in Brisbane City, about 81 customers apparently are affected by power outages at the moment. Now, the heaviest rainfall is happening now and it's only going to get worse. It could uh, last well into tonight. About 7 o'clock, Tony Orton was saying, is when we're going to get the worst of it. And it could last for a couple of hours after that. So we are supposed to be getting into the roughest part now. It's supposed to be the actual cyclone hitting us um, fairly soon. Um, but I just saw this and I thought this is kind of interesting. Nowhere else would you find this sort of thing. Check this out. So we we'll keep warning the kids to stay out of the rivers. Um, that's the reason why it's actually a thing. Um, we've got sharks washing up all over the place. We'll get up to around about 35, 40 knots, possibly even 50 knots offshore. So very, very rough out there. But let's concentrate back on land and what this could actually happen for us. And that means that we're going to see a lot of water pushing from up here, up there, down here. And that means the local waterways, the canal systems will become uh, a lot more flooded. They'll swell. And we've got a big tide tonight coming through as well at around 11 p.m. of just over 1.65 metres. So that will lift it up to double no doubt. So we're going to see a lot of jetties being pushed under. Even the dang ants are trying to get out of the rain. They're all clustered up on the side of the house. It's like the backyard starting to flood out again. It's getting a lot heavier, a lot more wind too. Well, it's um, 
just coming up to seven o'clock now and the cyclones finally arrived um, properly um, there's massive wind and everything is going sideways and quite a lot of rain um, they're saying we've, we've I think we've already hit the 500 millimeters so um, whatever we're getting now is excess but um, yeah it's pretty wild out there at the moment So it's 7.30 now, um, it's gotten significantly worse outside, um, very windy at the moment, uh, a lot of gusts and things like that, the girls are freaking out a little bit because the bins and things have moved around outside and are making noise, uh, but so far we're doing okay, um, thankfully there are no big trees and things around the house so we don't have to worry about anything falling on anything, um, I guess the worst is if the power goes out, um, but so far we've been pretty lucky, um, the internet's next to useless it's always pretty much useless whenever it rains i think the water just gets into the the copper cables and forget it it's game over um so that's not really happening for us at the moment but hey we've got power and we're warm and dry so we can't really complain too much um they've already announced that the schools are closed tomorrow so um it's looking at this point like i'm probably gonna have to stay home tomorrow and look after han anyway um We've still got Bailey here at the moment because he couldn't get back to his mum's. So that's okay, that's fine. Um, I'd rather he was safe. Not that he wasn't safe at his mum's, but, you know, he just trying to get back there and she's got a number of rivers and things in the way and they get cut off with floods and things like that. So I'm just glad he's okay. Um, and hopefully too, she's all right. Well, they're all okay up there as well. They're not having to cross rivers to try and get him and all the rest of it. So, um, yes, but... It's going to be a wild night, um, been a busy day, uh, at least I managed to get some work done today and um, doing a bit of work on Unity as well at the moment, I've got a few projects on there, um, so I'm trying to get learn that and, and get to grips with that, so that's been a good use of time. I can't play Xbox, so uh, might as well do something constructive I guess, and get some work done, even, um, even if it's just my personal stuff, although I got some of my boring paperwork done for work as well today too, so. Yay! Anyway, um, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next vlog. Bye.